Good afternoon everyone, this is Chrissy with Van Adam Company. It's Monday, August 6th. I'm going to go over the markets with you. So it looked like corn was kind of stuck in between wheat market and soybean market all day long. Soybeans down eight and three quarters. Um, but then you had the wheat market up anywhere from 15 to 18 cents. And then you had corn kind of stuck in the middle here, up a penny on the day. And it's trying to find a direction here. Forecast looks favorable for soybeans uh, moving to the first three weeks of August. Maybe a little hot and dry over the next week, but overall um, the heat and rain comes into the extended forecast. There's a lot of subsoil moisture and that heat is really going to help beans along. Um, and so really overall just feeling a lot of pressure there. In the wheat market, you're starting to hear some talks of some hoar yields and that's what's really helping them out along with the corn market being drug up by it. You saw managed money be big buyers here of the corn market last week. That could be where you're finding some support as well. We do have a crop report on Friday that'll offer some details. Biggest question will be what happens to USDA and the yields. They chose not to adjust them here this last report. Typically in August, they do make some bold adjustments. We'll be waiting to see that. Most people are in the camp of 174 to 180 for a corn yield and 48 to 50 on a bean yield. So we'll see what that does to the carryout levels. Over to the meat markets, looks like a little bit of pressure here. Uh, all in the right across the board for lives, feeders, and lean hogs. It looked like cattle markets maybe seen a little bit of profit taking coming in after a strong week last week. And then the hog market really struggling until we can find some ground here with Mexico as far as an agreement.